I'm sure the majority of you spend most of your time at a desktop, laptop, or smartphone. Well, here are some great apps that you should know about to best connect your Android device to your computer. Let's start with ClipCloud. This is a simple tool that syncs your clipboard data between your phone and your computer. So any text I copy on my Android can also be copied and pasted on my Windows and vice versa. There's no delay when selecting text on one device and it being pasteable on the other. The only thing that is kind of annoying is that you have to have ClipCloud running in the background, otherwise the app won't synchronize your clipboard data. Other than that, it works like a charm. It supports Android, PC, Mac, and Linux. Just install the app on your phone and install the Chrome plugin. I'll drop both links in the description and make sure to sign into the same Google account. It does have a 30 day trial period, so eventually you need to purchase a cheap subscription or get the lifetime edition for $6, but give it a try and see if you like it. Now, before I move on to the next app, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. This website is a great way to learn about a broad range of interesting topics. There are more than 25,000 classes to join and learn about something new. Topics covered include content for creators, photography, business, technology, etc. More specifically, if you're trying to start a YouTube channel, they have great tutorials for lighting, cinematography, tutorials for Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and more. Or maybe if you're trying to start a business and need some advice from successful entrepreneurs, they have that. Music production, mobile development, web development, marketing, writing, graphic design, you name it, they have it. Personally, I signed up for a color grading course to improve my colors within my videos, a Python course, a few entrepreneurship classes, and a productivity class to better organize my busy schedule. Their premium membership, which gives you unlimited access to all of their classes and communities, isn't even that expensive. Getting their annual subscription is less than 10 bucks a month. However, the first 500 people who use the link in the description to sign up will get a two month free trial for Skillshare Premium. So give Skillshare a try, especially if you want to learn a few new things in 2019. Ever wanted to unlock your computer with your phone? Well, Remote Fingerprint Unlock lets you do just that with your Android fingerprint sensor. So I can unlock my custom PC and my Razer laptop. I've been using it for a couple months now and I've never had an issue with it. You don't even need root or ADB to do this. It's a totally secure process even on public networks since all the sent data is encrypted. The app doesn't store any of your passwords. And if an attacker knows your smartphone's main password and tries to add his own fingerprint to your Android, the app will immediately be notified and will automatically invalidate its own key. The app does have some pro features which cost $1.99 to unlock, but I think it's worth it because you can unlock multiple computers and multiple accounts per computer. It also supports wake on LAN so I can wake up my PC from sleep mode on an ethernet connection and unlock it automatically. And it supports widgets to unlock your computer straight from your Android's home screen. In the future, from what I read in the app's Play Store listing, the developer is planning to support Linux. It will be able to lock your PC with the app. It will be able to notify you when one of your computers wakes up and have a time to unlock. If you guys want to see a tutorial on how to get this running on your Android, I made a video on my personal channel showing off a step-by-step -step instruction, so click that eye in the right corner if you're interested in that. This next step, a lot of you may already know, but for those who don't, messages by Google is the best way to send and receive messages on your desktop. Within the app, tap the three-dot menu in the top right corner and then tap messages for web. On your computer, type the URL messages.android.com in any browser, and then scan the QR code with your phone. I also recommend toggling remember this computer so you only have to do this process once. From there you should see all of your conversations and messages and you can reply to each conversation with text, emojis, gifs, stickers, and pictures and videos on your desktop. Other third party desktop apps that support SMS only allow you to reply with text or maybe emojis, but this allows you to do much more. You can also archive, delete, or mute conversations, and even toggle dark mode if you so choose. It works just like the app. For those looking to do a lot more when pairing your phone and desktop, Join by Joa Apps is the ultimate app. Sorry if I said that wrong, it's really hard to pronounce. By using this app and their Chrome extension, I'm able to interact with my phone in multiple different ways. For example, I can send the current open tab to my phone. It has universal copy and paste. Send SMS messages and see all of my conversations. If I have a text field open on my phone, I can type something on my computer and have the text immediately show up inside of it. You can send files from any device to any other device and it automatically opens the file when it arrives, which is very useful for remote installing APKs. The only bittersweet thing about this is that the transferred files get uploaded to your Google Drive and if you keep transferring large amounts of files, your drive is going to get filled up quickly but it's still better than having all your files being uploaded to a random unknown server. 
You can also get a screenshot from your Android or get a screen recording. Locate the device on the map. Ring it if you can't find it in your room. Open an app on your phone. Have your phone speak to you, which can freak out your friends. Hey buddy, I'm watching you. Mirror notifications and interact with them. And if all that wasn't enough, the app supports IFTTT, Node Red, and MQTT for extreme automation. The app does have a 30 day trial period and then you'll have to pay a one time fee of $5 to continue to use Join, but it's not that bad. A big competitor to Join is Pushbullet. Even though Join is much more feature packed, Pushbullet still has some tricks up its sleeves. For one, when transferring files between one device to the other, the receiving device doesn't need to have the app open or running in the background. It will automatically download the file, and since I have the pro version, I can send files up to a gigabyte in size and not fill up my Google Drive with random uploads. A huge feature that Pushbullet has that Join doesn't have is channels unless you use IFTTT with Join, but for the average Joe that can get pretty complicated. Pushbullet makes it easy to follow channels. For those who don't know, channels are push notification feeds that you can subscribe to. For example, I subscribe to Andrew Police's deal segment. So when one of the editors posts a new deal on the site, I will automatically get notified and be one of the first few people to take advantage of that limited time offer. I also subscribe to multiple pages on APK Mirror for apps that aren't on the Play Store, so I'll still know exactly when an update drops. These include apps like Launcher V2 and Expose Installer. Another exclusive feature that Pushbullet has is that you can remotely access your phone's files from any other device. I also wanted to mention that the interface within Pushbullet is way easier to use than Joins. I can quickly push files to my other devices, friends that I added, and see all the channels that I'm following. And I can immediately see a history of all my shared content. Lastly, Pushbullet supports iOS, while Join doesn't. Those are some advantages that Pushbullet has over Join, but one huge reason why most people have switched to Join is that Pushbullet charges a subscription plan of $5 a month, which is more expensive to use. If you really want to connect your Android to your PC and just want to mirror the screen entirely, check out Visor in the Chrome Web Store. The developer is the one and only Kush and it works pretty well. There is an app in the Play Store, but it just prompts you to get the app from the Chrome Web Store, so I wouldn't recommend downloading it. I'll leave a link down below for the Chrome app. The app uses ADB to provide the interface between the phone and the computer, and it's pretty straightforward. Just enable USB debugging in the developer options of your phone settings. Make sure ADB is installed on your computer. And then in the Chrome app, select Find Device, or it will automatically find it for you. A pop-up on your phone will ask you to allow USB debugging. Tap OK and you're done. Your computer's cursor access your finger and you can click apps to open them, interact with buttons, text fields, and more. Clicking and holding is the same as long pressing and clicking, holding, and dragging are the same as swiping. You can also scroll up and down within apps with your scroll wheel on your mouse. Visor does have a pro version for $2 a month or $10 a year, which enables features like high quality mirroring if you have a computer that can handle it. Wireless mode so you can see your screen on your computer without a cable. Just make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection. And it supports full screen mode. Personally, I have a great computer, but Visor still can't handle heavy graphic mobile games such as Asphalt 9, since so they're not always up to speed. So if you're looking to play mobile games on this app, unless it's something simple, don't get your hopes up. Along with replicating your phone's screen, it also supports screen recording, screenshots, it can increase or decrease your phone's volume, rotate the screen to landscape or portrait, and lock the phone. Anyways, those are my top picks to best pair up your Android with your desktop. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.